Hi, I'm Margot McKinnon from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. I'm creating this YouTube channel so that I can talk to you about my body, mind, spirit, soul, oneness, dominance theory. You see, a few years ago, I was doing my master's degree in education leadership, and I took one course that changed my life forever. It was called Philosophy of Mind. And our first homework assignment was how are the body, mind, spirit related? Well, I've always been intrigued by that subject matter. And so I went home and I gave it some really deep thought. And I came back with my answer and my professor said it was the freshest theory he'd heard in many years. And he encouraged me to write a book, so I did. And I called it The Exquisiteness of Being Human, The Body, Mind, Spirit, Soul, Oneness, Dominance Theory. This channel is devoted to my readers and the people who come to my lectures who would like to stay connected with the theory, show, show the theory to their family and friends, and also so that they can keep up to date with new ways of applying the theory, new strategies, and some fun stories. So I'm glad you're joining me today. Let's get started. First of all, the homework assignment was, how are the body, mind, spirit related? So when I was thinking about it, I thought we have more than just three dimensions. We have five dimensions of self. We have a body, mind, spirit, soul, and oneness. I used to always think spirit and soul were the same thing, but they're not. They're two different parts of ourselves. And we'll see as we go along. When I draw, draw my model, I use a pie chart like this because I want to emphasize that each dimension is equally important to make us whole. And what we want to do in our lives is to develop each dimension to its fullest. And so let's go through each one. The body is probably the most obvious to think about, and that is our physical, tangible body self. I have brown hair, brown eyes, I'm wearing a green sweater. Very simple. Our mind is our logical, rational self. Our spirit is the part of us that came in when we were born and will come out when we die. It's our eternal self. It's our real self. It's our passion and joys. And it's also the part of us that remembers the absolute unconditional love from the other side. Our soul is our purpose, and oneness is our connectedness to all time, place, people, and universal consciousness. I go a step further and I say, you're born dominant in one of these dimensions, and you grow the other ones over time. A body dominant person is exceptional at the physical, tangible parts of life, competitive sports, interior design, fashion, grooming, putting on a gorgeous dinner party. A mind dominant person excels at the logical, rational parts of life, like engineering and science. A spirit dominant person. I'm going to give you an example from my own personal life because I'm not a body dominant and I'm not a mind dominant person. I put myself more here. One time I went on a vacation with my older sister who's a body dominant person in my view. And we, we stayed at her friend's house in Stowe, Vermont. And when we arrived, she made this beautiful pot of tea and she got out these lovely cups and put almond bark out on a beautiful plate. And then she lay down on the couch and pulled the afghan up around her chin and she sunk into the couch and she said, Margo, tell me about your life. What's happened to you this year? Meanwhile, I was sitting like perched on the end, edge of my chair, hardly skin touching. And I was looking at her and I was thinking, how can you be so comfortable lying on somebody else's couch under somebody else's blanket and drinking out of somebody else's cup? And then I had my big eureka moment and I was thinking, Wow, that's the difference between my body-dominant sister and myself. 
She's at home everywhere and I'm at home nowhere. That was huge for me. And it was in that moment that I decided that I was going to be committed to being at home in my own life as Margot McKinnon. And I thought, I am going to learn the exquisiteness of my own life. And that's why I called my book The Exquisiteness of Being Human. And so we can see this is a, an example. A spirit-dominant person feels more spirit than body and mind. If we move along here, a soul dominant is a person very purpose driven and oneness is very connectedness driven. I'm going to leave the model here because I'm going to spend time over the course of the next few videos going deeper and deeper into the model. I think this gives you a hint of what's to come. What I want to tell you now though is that I'm off to uh, three different t teachers conventions here in Alberta next week and the week after and I'm doing two presentations. One is on invisible students. What this means is that these students are actually spirit dominant students. They are not at home in a mind dominant classroom or in a body dominant gym class. They glide in often under a hoodie. They don't really associate with anyone in the class. They fly under the radar, hardly handing in any assignments. And oftentimes, as what I found out, is they often yearn to just go home, back to the other side. And I've learned how to engage those students and help those students be at home in their own life and to find their own exquisiteness. And I want to share those strategies with teachers. The other presentation I'm giving is on uh, protect your career from burnout. Because if you're not balanced in all your dimensions, then you, your career can start derailing and your joy factor can be diminished. So I want to show teachers how they can protect themselves from that. So you can see that the model that I'm creating, the dominance theory, is helps people understand, for me, my sister, so your siblings, your parents, your spouse, your partner, your children, why your children are different. It'll help you understand your boss, your colleagues, your next door neighbor, your clients. And so it has wide application there. And also it, it works very well in different spheres of life. So for me, as an educator, I really enjoy teaching teachers about this model. And so I want this YouTube video series to help the people, the other teachers, so they can watch my videos later and share them with family and friends. So I'm going to leave you there. I'm going to make further videos and you can catch up with me. If you want to put a comment, put one in below. If you want to connect up with me through email and tell me your story, you're welcome to do that. I love to hear from my readers. I print off some of my reader comments so that I can read them and produce new videos on what they're interested in. And if you'd like to purchase a copy of my book, you can send me an email and I'll get one in the mail for you. So for now, I'm going to leave this video here. Look forward to some new ones. Thank you for joining me today. And I hope you have a gorgeous next few days and I'll catch up with you later. See you then. Bye.